Hi everybody, we are a team of researchers at Politecnico di Milano working on drinking water and remediation of contaminated soils. We would like to illustrate our work about human health risk assessment in highly globalized societies, accounting for the exposure to emerging contaminants due to the consumption of both drinking water and food. The anthropic water cycle connects water in different compartments. Water, originating from natural environments, is treated and distributed up to the taps. Then, the used water flows throughout the sewerage to the wastewater treatment plant, where it is treated and discharged to be used for crops irrigation. In addition, the sludge is often applied as soil amendment. However, as water treatments do not completely remove several contaminants, especially the emerging ones, the anthropic water cycle leads to an unavoidable cross-contamination among compartments, potentially determining that they are taking crops. Additional contamination of drinking water and food derive from the materials in contact with them, as lining raisins and packaging. Our work provides an insight in health risk assessment, considering multiple exposures to emerging contaminants from both drinking water and food consumption. We consider bisphenol A and nonylphenol as representative emerging contaminants. Looking at the concentration of these two compounds in the compartments of concern, you can see how concentration ranges are different and literature data variability is high. We then estimated the health risk as benchmark quotient. Firstly, we identified the contaminant and source most affecting the risk, namely here bisphenol A, whose benchmark quotient is much higher than the one of nonylphenol and greater than one as well. Thus, bisphenol A is responsible for the highest risk, especially in food. Then, it was possible to suggest where more research efforts are needed to fill knowledge gaps evident in data variability, which results in high uncertainty in health risk estimation. Finally, risk assessment can support the planning of most appropriate interventions to effectively reduce the risk, but only once a reasonable confidence in the major source of contamination is achieved. Some other issues should be addressed, such as exhaustively exploring contaminant concentration in water and food, identifying potential byproducts generated in the environment and their additional risk, evaluating the time frame for mitigation actions to achieve the required risk reduction. But the work must go on, and we surely highlighted as human health risk assessment when performing inside a wide boundary allows to prioritize contaminants and risk sources, pointing out the gaps and supporting an effective protection for consumers.